a lot of people just get inside ChatGPT and start asking ChatGPT a random question. Don't do that. There is a better way you can use ChatGPT. Rule number one that you can use to leverage ChatGPT capacity is to ask a smart question. Sometimes, if you don't know uh, the contents or uh, what specifically your question is about, you can set this rule to chat GBT. So, you can tell chat GBT. From now, okay, whenever I ask a question, suggest a better version of the question to use in it. So, just write this statement from now, when ever I ask question, suggest better version of a question to use is So every time that ChatGPT will be asked a question, he will give you a better version of the question, and uh, it is up to you to choose uh, the question that he will give you and to get a better output. Okay, so for instance, I'm going to hit the answer button to see what ChatGPT is going to say. Uh, so he say, of course, please go ahead and ask a question first. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to say uh, how to create app, for instance. Hit the after button and then see what ChatGPT is going to see. To say so, uh, a more detailed version of your question could be so based on the first statement that I give him. From now, whenever I ask a question, so get the version of the question. He told me uh, a more detailed version of your question could be what are the steps involving in creating a mobile application and. Uh, what tool or resources are recommended for beginners? So this is uh, one of the better version of the question because I don't specify anything uh, about the creation of this app and he gave me a better version of uh, the question. I think that this better version is uh, amazing, it's very, very interesting and you can just uh, copy it and uh, paste it and uh, yeah, ChatGPT is going to answer this question uh, for you. So this is one thing that you can use to leverage ChatGPT capacity. So the second thing that uh, you can use, so the, this first statement, we call it a question refinement. Okay, this is a question refinement that you can, uh, um, you can use uh, when prompting with ChatGPT. So and the second thing that I'm going to ask you, if uh, you uh, want to ask uh, ChatGPT to explain you something, don't directly ask him to explain you, uh, because he don't know uh, what is your level is about. In this specific question that you ask him, this is uh, one thing that you have to keep in mind, because he don't know if you are advanced, if, if you are beginner, if you are intermediate. So uh, you can, you can ask a question like this. So, explain me, explain me, okay? I'm going to say, explain me uh, how Python coding, okay, this is a question, coding work. I don't know anything about uh, coding with Python. I saw yet, I don't know anything about uh, coding. So, work. And I'm going to add these uh, statements. Suppose I am I am a beginner. Okay. And hit the enter button and let's see what ChatGPT is going to say. Certainly, okay, a more precise question that will yield a comprehensive explanation suitable for a beginner, okay, you might consider asking, can you provide a simple explanation of how coding in Python works 
for someone with no prior experience? This is one of the best questions that I can ask to him. So, and if I copy this and I paste this again, he will give me uh, the output of my question based on my level. So, this is one thing also uh, you can. Uh, do with ChatGPT if you want to have a quick answer based on your level, uh, your knowledge, if you're a beginner, if you're intermediate, if you are advanced, uh, to not to waste your time, okay? It is very, very important because time is very important. So ask a smart question and uh, you, will get, you, you will have the output based on your level, okay? Because ChatGPT sometimes can give you a lot of, a lot of uh, output, a lot of uh, 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 answer based on your question. So, to uh, leverage credibility, ability, and the capacity, you can do that and also mm, save your time. As you can see, this is the output. And one thing also you can do, for instance, if you want to play game with GPT, or if you are preparing some exam or uh, some certification, sometimes. You can use ChatGPT to prepare this and how to do that. You can basically set some rule like I do. Uh, for instance, alors, ask. I can I can say for instance, ask me a question about Python certification. Okay. And I'm going to set some statement at the end until I gave 16 right answer to all the question you asked me. Okay, and hit the answer button and see what ChatGPT is going to do with us. Okay, so the first question: Can you provide a series of Python certification related question that I can answer? That can be the uh, output of the question, uh, the best question that I can ask. Okay, let's start with the first question. So, if you don't like the question that you ask. Mm -hmm, Based on the first rule that you created before, for now, whenever I ask you a question, um, give me the better version of the question. You, uh, he suggests you another version of the question, and you can copy and pass it in the prompt and uh, move on within your last statement about uh, the answer. Okay, but he instead uh, he give you as well a one question to start your quiz. So, what is the name of the Python package? A management system that allow you uh, to install uh, additional library me i don't know i i don't know so and let's see what will happen next okay he answer you the question no problem the python packet management system is called pip which stands for uh, pip install package that is nice he give you the answer and Furthermore, he gives you another question again, okay? In Python, how do you create a virtual environment to manage dependencies for projects? So, if you don't answer this question again, he will give you another question. And until the condition that we set before here, until the, the, this statement is reached. If you don't reach this statement, uh, this uh, rule that we uh, set, he will always ask you another question until you meet this statement. So, today we talk about three things that you can do with ChatGPT and to uh, leverage ChatGPT capacity. The first one uh, is from now, whenever I ask a question, you get a better version of the question. So, this one, if you don't know specific uh, uh, thing about the, the question that you want to ask, you can ask ChatGPT and uh, he will always give you the better version of your question. And the second thing, 
So suppose I'm be a beginner or I am an intermediate or I am advanced and I have a lot of experience and uh, I want to ask ChatGPT uh, some specific topic and uh, I don't want to waste my time with uh, knowledge that I already know because if you don't specify your, your level, ChatGPT uh, uh, is not going to give you uh, the answer based on the level that you, you give him. So specify. Uh, the uh, level that you want, if uh, you want to be uh, Elon Musk, for instance, uh, ask him a question and uh, say, uh, suppose I'm Elon Musk, or I don't know, I am uh, uh, Robert Kiyosaki, or uh, Warren Buffet, and uh, he will give you uh, the uh, output based on the statement that you give him. Okay, and the last thing that we see is also uh, set some rule. Okay, set some rule if you want to um, play some quiz with ChatGPT. Guys, uh, at the end of your question, set the rule until until this rule is met. It. And uh, ChatGPT will give you uh, a question, or uh, I don't know, a answer based on the statement that you gave him or the rule that you see. So guys, this is all for this video and uh, hope you will, uh, I will see you in the next video. See you.